How do you guys raise a successful child? If you were to start a business today, what would it be? Is USC worth it? Do you have advice for aspiring CEOs? How do you get over the fear of failure? What's a piece of advice that you wish you knew when you were, let's say, 20 years old? Wear sunscreen. Yes, <laughs> yes. That's a big one. So today we're here at USC where tuition board costs over $90,000 per year. So obviously if you can afford that, you either need a lot of financial assistance or your parents need to have deep pockets. So we're gonna be asking USC parents what they do for a living, how they made their money, their advice, and other questions just like that. Before we start, make sure to hit that subscribe button because on this channel, we do a ton of videos just like this. And the whole point is to inspire you guys to be financially successful. This is gonna be a really exciting video. It's so chaotic right here. And I'm really, really excited. Let's go. Are you a USC parent? Yeah. Did you want to be on a video for a couple minutes? Probably not. No. Sorry. Okay. No worries. Okay. Are you a USC parent? Uh, yes, I am. Did you want to be on the video? You know, thank you. Okay. I'm going to pass. So. Okay. Thank you so much. So I realized this would actually be a lot harder than I thought. But after about 20 minutes, I found my first USC parent. What's your name, age, and what do you do for a living? Uh, my name is Andrew Sussman. I'm 58, and I own a meat processing company. What's your kid graduating with a degree in? Uh, my son is graduating today with a degree in uh, cinema arts. Okay. And is going to be working in the entertainment business. If it doesn't work out, he can sell boxes of meat. Are you proud? Of course, very. He worked very hard. What is a skill that every young person should learn today? There's not enough people who know how to do things uh, with their hands. There's going to be a huge shortage of uh, tradesmen. So so plumbing, electrical, anything that's crafty is a critical skill. They're very well paid. You can get in a union, you can get in a guild, you can work for yourself. What is something that you tell your younger self if you're 20 years old again? Work harder. I've worked hard, but you really have to work even harder. And did you go to college? I did. I went to Clark University. What did you get a degree in? My degree was in government, sort of like a political science degree, because yeah. I'm a little bit of a political junkie. Thought I was going to go to law school and ended up going into business. Was it worth it becoming an entrepreneur? Oh, absolutely. Entrepreneurship is great if you can find something that uh, A, makes you happy, and B, is lucrative because uh, it provides freedom. If you were to start a business today, what would it be? You want to find something that isn't going to be displaced very quickly. Mm -hmm. So one of the reasons why I went into the food processing business is, you know, we will be doing agriculture and farming in this country. So. Any last advice you want to leave the audience? <laughs> okay, thank you so much. What's your name and what do you do for a living? My name is Heidi Forte and I own a insurance and accounting firm. And what is your child graduating with today? She's graduating Thornton School of Music in the music industry program. Okay. Are you proud? I am more than proud. Are you glad that you became an entrepreneur? Oh, absolutely. Why? Because I have my own freedom, I don't answer to anybody. I have 13 employees and I just, I love it. I love what I do. How do you pick the right people to hire? Personality, 100%. Sitting down with them and having a conversation and learning, you know, their personality traits. How much does it cost to, to raise a kid today? If you send them to this school, a lot. <laughs> Is it worth it? 100%. To see the joy that this education has brought my child it's priceless. What's the most motivating thing in life? Watching your children succeed. What types of emotions does that bring out? A lot of emotion. I've been crying all week. So, so proud and it's just a wonderful thing to watch your child follow their dreams and her dream she's a singer songwriter and she's just doing amazing out here and that's amazing what's her name maybe we can plug her socials her name is lily forte you'll find her on youtube she's got a lot of new releases out on spotify what's a piece of advice that you wish you knew when you were let's say 20 years old wear sunscreen yes <laughs> yes <laughs> That's a big one. And any final advice you want to leave the audience? The most important thing in life is don't settle and follow your dreams. Do what you love and, you know, everything, prosperity will come. Thank you so much. What's your name, age, and what do you do for a living? My name is Janar Dhanan. I am basically a chartered accountant. That is something like a CPA you yeah. call in uh, U.S. I retired about six years ago. If you could go back to when you were 20 years old, mm. what would you tell yourself? To give more uh, time to my family, mm. which is very important. There are, there are so many things in life. The life is only one. So you should give ample time to yourself or developing your own uh, interests and then take care of your family. What advice do you want to give to your daughter right now? Freak out. Freak out? Freak out. 
Okay, because she has done so much. She is already an architect and she has uh, spent five years uh, working. She has completed so now she has to uh, enjoy life. How do you raise a successful child? Try to understand what potential he or she has right from the young age and then try to develop and motivate them, okay, support them. That is very important. Don't thrust upon them that this is what you need to do. Somebody is doing engineering doesn't mean that your child also has to do engineering, right? Understand that and then support so that they can uh, give out the best. What's the most important personality trait that you have that allowed you to be successful? I'm a perfectionist. Okay. I'm very thorough in my job and don't leave unless you you achieve the job. Yeah. Thank you so much. My parents actually went here, so I FaceTime my mom to say what's up. Come on, mom, pick up. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Oh. What was your favorite part about USC? I have a series of professors who were so uh, caring about students. They would take us to lunch, you know, we would, uh, for Christmas party, go to their house. At yeah. least my, my, my experience at that time. Nice. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go continue these interviews now. Okay. All right. You look great. Thank you, Mom. You look great, too. Yeah, very sharp. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, love very you. Lovely. Bye. I knew she was going to watch this video, so it was time to find some more great people to talk to. What are your names and what do you guys do for a living? Uh, Jim McAlooney and I'm a commercial insurance broker. Colleen McAlooney, I'm a director of a women's business center. Do you guys have any advice for young aspiring entrepreneurs? Definitely do your research. Make sure you know who your target market is. Make sure you know who your competition is. And then also to um, not rush into it. You know, make sure that you're financially stable. I mean, a lot of entrepreneurs have to work a full-time job and have their um, own business as a side hustle for a while. So just, you know, take your time and do it the right way. And what is your son graduating with today? He's graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Chemistry with a theater minor. And are you guys proud? Oh, very. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> he came in as a theater major and a chemistry minor and Whoa. switched it up and is going to use that to hopefully inspire people to enjoy chemistry and enjoy science. Okay. How's he going to do that? He has a YouTube channel. Okay. What's well, the I'll YouTube channel? Media. Back Max Sci. Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll drop that down below. If you guys could go back to when you were 20 years old, what would you tell yourself? Don't worry so much. You should um, really think about what you want mm -hmm. and what is driving you and motivating you and follow that passion instead of trying to please everybody else. How do you guys raise a successful child? Well, he made it easy. How, how'd you make it easy? I listen to them, and you trust the people that are older than you because they know what they're doing. How long have you guys been married for? 35 years plus. Any advice for how to do that? Yeah, you got to work real hard at it. Compromise and collaborate. Yeah. How much does it cost to raise a kid? Ooh. A lot. <laughs> Was it worth it? Yeah, well, yeah. I'll tell you, he's, he's living for a bit, so yeah. I knew the Obamas would be on campus to watch Sasha graduate, so I set that as my final goal of the day. I kept looking for the secret service, but I couldn't find them anywhere. So I thought I'd show some school spirit by buying a lay, but they were $59, so no way. All of a sudden, security yelled and started walking towards us, so we immediately started running. Hopefully we lost them. That's when I saw my next interviewee who crushed it with the USC swag. What's your name? Uh, my, name my family name is Lee. I work for a hospital okay. and uh, I work as a consultant, radio pharmaceutical, you know. Oh. Do you enjoy what you do? Yeah. Yeah. I enjoy that. How long have you been uh, in that field for? More than 35 years. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any advice for people that want to you know, have a great job and live a great life? You need to learn more discipline and uh, cooperate with each other. Did you go to college? Yeah, I got the PhD grade, okay. oh. grade uh, in Taiwan, International Business uh, Management. Okay. But my college, my batch, bachelor degree majored in chemical engineering. What is something you did right? when raising your kid? I never push the punishment on my kid. Okay. Yeah, I always encourage them. Uh, you need to learn to love your family and help each other. It's my belief. Can you leave the audience some final advice you want to tell them? And you can speak Chinese for this yeah. one. I encourage everyone who Thank you so much.
What's your name, age, and what do you do for a living? My name is uh, Eric Allen. I'm 52, and I'm an athletic director uh, for a youth organization. And what's your kid uh, graduating with a degree in? This one is graduating with a degree in uh, communication. I had one last year that graduated Alice. with a degree, and he was in human securities and geospatial science. And then I have another one that should graduate next year in human bio. Well, how'd you do it? That sounds hard, like raising three kids. It was, but uh, my wife and I made a point early on to make sure that they had everything they needed in order to succeed, making sure we were involved in, in their elementary school, uh, getting them in a great STEM middle school, and then uh, a pretty good private school for high school. Uh, they also competed and played sports. They played football as well as run track. So for anyone that's like in their late teens or in their 20s, what can they do to make their parents' life easier? Easier. You're going to make mistakes, but don't repeat the mistakes. I would say that would make it easier. I think every parent expects the, their, their child to bump their head because we bumped ours. But it's the repeated ones that, that kind of make us scratch our head. Is USC worth it? Overall, absolutely. Uh, I think it was worth it, worth the experience, worth, worth the, uh, the networking, the, the friendships develop, the education, the whole nine yards of it, yes. What's the hardest decision you've ever made in your life? When I left my corporate job, which may have required me to relocate, and uproot my family when I left that to stay in in the, in the area that we are now because I felt like it was a better situation for my family. Uh, yeah, it probably took a lot of money out of my pocket, but it ultimately resulted in this. And I'm not sure if I have I would have three kids at USC graduating if I would have done it differently. Thank you so much. It's David J. That's so cool. So what's your name and what do you do for a living? My name is Sharon Willis and I am a professional development coach. I work for a nonprofit agency. And what's your uh, child graduating with a degree in? She's graduating with her doctorate in occupational therapy. Wow, you must be really proud. Yes, yes. Well, I had another one that graduated already with her bachelor's and she got she went ahead and got her master's and now her doctorate. So is this something you instill in your kids like higher education is really important? Oh, for sure. For sure. My mother instilled it in us and we instilled it in our children. Uh, all the way okay. down. Is there any advice you want to tell your daughter right now? Just always go for your passion and that's what she's doing. And what's one skill that everyone should learn at a young age? Don't give up, be resilient and keep trying because you can still, you can always wake up the very next day and keep on going. Failure is a part of life. It's only making you better and stronger to get to what you really want to do. Is there anything you want to tell your mom? I love her and she supported me. Literally has driven me to soccer, basketball games, Games, comes every single one of my performances, every single one of my games, my graduations, my anything. She's always there for me. I can always text her and call her whenever I need to. She's my everything. Uh, that's amazing. So what's your name, age, and what do you do for a living? So my name is Victor Wong. I'm 58 years old, and my family runs uh, McDonald's franchises oh. in New York. And what's something that you've learned running your business that you want to share with the audience? You got to love it. You really do. You know, to be happy so you can give it your 150%. And what's your uh, child graduating with a degree so my in? My child just graduated with the master's in uh, occupational therapy. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, so I'm very proud of her. Of course, it was costly, but well worth it. Is this the most expensive thing you guys have paid for your kid? It's the best investment in my whole life. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. It's, a, it's an investment that, I again, makes me proud, even though I didn't do it personally. Right. But I was there to support her 150%. And I'm just a very, very proud USC parent. Did you go to college yourself? No, actually, I didn't. Okay. You know, so you know, I've been working for McDonald's since I was a kid. But that's how I got into the business. Okay. What's the biggest factor that allowed you to be successful? Again, just working hard. You know, you have to work hard, no matter what. Nothing comes easy. How do you build a great work ethic like that? It was instilled in me since I was a kid. You know, we were not very fortunate in the beginning. We're immigrants mm -hmm. from uh, from Mexico, mm -hmm. and instilled in us to work very hard and try to live for that American dream. And what advice do you want to tell your daughter? right now. Enjoy life, work hard, and play hard. And any last advice you want to leave the audience? Love life and love thy neighbor. Thank you so much. Uh, my stomach hurts. <laughs> Maybe it's the bacon I had this morning. I don't feel that good. My stomach started hurting really badly and I almost called it quits, but you know me, I'm gonna try and stick it out and luckily I did because the last three people I spoke to were all CEOs with amazing advice. So uh, what's your name, age, and what do you do for a living? I am Farouk Kapan, I am 55. I'm an executive for a big advertising firm. How did you get into that? Right after school actually, I was in working in the pharmaceutical and the funny thing like today, internet just was brand new and then I just got into the internet and I said to my bosses, this is one of the biggest things gonna happen and they told me no, it's just a fad. I 
follow my dream and I keep working on it and I started the company about 25 years ago. Do you have any advice for aspiring entrepreneurs? First, I recommend that right after college, it's always good to go work for an industry or area to learn. And then in the meantime, follow your passion. But passion doesn't come just by itself. You got to understand that you like what you do first the job. First couple of years might be again learning about the industry. But once you understand the industry, you can really invent or come up with an idea, then follow through. That's the best advice. Can you tell us about a failure that you've made and what you learned from it? There's many failures in my life. Work-life balance is important okay. for the young generation. Sometimes you focus on the work too much, which I I did for a while. When you're starting a company, you gotta really put a lot of hours and effort into it. Entrepreneurship is a good thing, but make sure you experience the life and make sure you be there for your loved ones. What's the best investment you've ever made? Probably my son right now. He's just graduating today from the college. Okay. What degree? Business administration. Do you know what he's gonna do? He actually wants to be entrepreneur. He wants okay. to really go work for a startup right now. Besides that, like, what investments do you recommend for people? I really don't recommend stocks right now, but okay. the best advice, of course, invest in your own business, invest in your own people. How do you get over the fear of failure? You don't. We lost about $10 million business, right? Let's assume that it happened. Yeah. And you can just sit down and cry, or you're going to go about to say next morning, what am I going to do to make that different? What can I go and change that outcome? Learn from it, but quickly find out, pivot what you can do with that knowledge. And instead of just like accepting the failure, learn and just go do the next thing. Are there any resources that you use to constantly learn? I actually, uh, when I was my uh, younger ages, I applied for a mentorship program. So I was getting a one-on-one -on -one mentorship. That was one of the best thing. It's not like like those mentors told me what to do, right. but they make me analyze the situation and come up with ideas that otherwise I couldn't come up my on my own. So how much money is enough? I mean, once you're accomplished, obviously you'll see the cliche words that money is just an object. If you're going to live very luxurious life, of course, you need a lot of money. Earning, winning the business is sometimes more important than the money itself, the experience. What's your name, age, and what do you do for a living? My name is Ala Pasha, 55 years old, and I'm a CEO of a tech company, small tech company. How did you get into that? I'm an engineer by profession. Moved to the U.S. In about 28 years ago. I had a job as an engineer and worked my way up to be a CEO of a tech company. Do you have advice for aspiring CEOs? Be true to yourself. I mean, I think we've all heard it today. Don't give up. You know, Know, just pursue your dreams and you know it's out there what is a very important life skill that most people don't have I think actually people skill regardless of where you work you're gonna be interacting with people and what's one thing that you wish you started doing earlier getting in the habit of like working out being fit you know what okay. I mean early so yeah. it kind of becomes part of your system if you will how do you build a good company culture the way I do it uh, quite candidly is I lead by examples I don't put posters on the walls I don't say yeah we're gonna love everyone we're gonna be humble we're gonna be a uh, customer centric we're gonna be this I think probably the best way to build a culture is to build it by example love that. thank you so much what's your name age and what do you do for a living my name is Andrew Pascal. I'm 57 and I'm an entrepreneur I have a mobile game company so a lot of our audience they're aspiring entrepreneurs would you have any advice for them so fairly common words of wisdom which yeah. is find your passion or the things that you're interested in and per pursue those and then just get started don't overthink and get inhibited by the complexity of things just get on with it how do you get over the fear of failure I don't know that you ever do you just come to realize that it's in moments of failure that you learn the most what is a trait that you see over and over again in successful people great don't give up don't look at failures as setbacks look at them as opportunities to learn something and evolve and, and then just keep moving forward how proud are you of your daughter couldn't be more proud. Uh, what is she graduating with a degree in? She's uh, getting a business degree from Marshall. And final question, what's something that you wish you had started doing earlier? Ask for help. But there's so many people around you, particularly people that are far more mature, have so much wisdom, and to tap into that, and ask for help and support, yeah. I love that. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. So what I learned today was that if you call it quits too soon, you're gonna miss out. There were multiple times today where because we pushed through a little bit more, we were rewarded. It's a good life lesson to always keep in mind. And even though we didn't find the Obamas, aim high because why not? So there you have you guys asking USC parents what they do for a living. I'm actually super blown away by everything we learned today. The parents were so nice. You could tell they really love their children. And yeah, it's just super inspiring. If you guys do want to get some free socks, we'll leave a link down to Moomoo. They're giving you guys up to 15 free socks right now. And yeah, my whole goal of the channel is to inspire you guys to be better entrepreneurs, always improve and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys got some value from this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. I make a ton of videos about personal finance, entrepreneurship, and investing. Thank you so much for your time, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Freak out.